What is going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you are having an amazing day in today's video we are going to be taking a look at Xiaomi's own digital well-being implementation into the MIUI 10.3 now this is Redmi Note 5 Pro again this has been implemented into the latest global betas which would be the 9.4.12 and above now many of the 9.4.12 devices doesn't even have it even the Redmi Note 5 Pro doesn't like this build is the global Redmi Note 5 Android Pie update and it just really works very fine on the Indian one so I'm just going to show you guys that right now but I'm really going through a very like bad conjunctivitis right now so my right eye is literally the size of golf ball so if i miss anything i'm just extremely sorry but i don't know whether i'm able to edit this video or not but uh, here you go this is your home screen nothing even that but basically redmi note 5 right now has one of the best miui builds like literally it packs in everything for example if you want to just clone the app you can literally do it over here oh sorry not that one like this one you can literally clone it over here or uh, just uninstall it this rom is like literally jam-packed like even if you go to the settings app if you go to the display there is dark mode like literally it has everything so this also packs in the all new digital webbing as i told you guys so if you scroll down right now over here there you go screen time now screen time is basically digital well-being like literally Xiaomi just implemented everything now this is Xiaomi's own implementation this doesn't use any kind of digital well-being framework and redesigned it for the MIUI look no this is Xiaomi's own thing like digital well-being can be run side by side over here as you can see I separately loaded it over here and digital well-being is much more handier than Xiaomi's implementation to be honest like it gives you how many times unlocked how many notifications yes you also get on that one too but all the apps are very nicely organized over here I can just literally tap anything to get an overall info about it very cool option to be honest it also has wind down which is broken on MIUI basically it just uh, gives you grayscale and bunch more other stuff to just preserve battery then again do not disturb pretty much normal stuff now you also get into MIUI 10 embedded inside it oh here as you can see you can track down a week or a whole month which is pretty great to be honest then again screen time today 15 minutes again you will have the whole week over here scrolling down you will have screen time alert then again usage for whole week or today pretty great again the same thing but just in a list so again as you can see you have to actually open the thing rather than that dial which google offers which i would prefer then again if you scroll down unlock three times today again the same receive notifications today 130 again pretty much the same stuff you can also manage the notifications over here there is no grayscale and stuff cause yeah you basically get a complete dark mode with some colors so that's not implemented and that's pretty much it for the Xiaomi's implementation. Now if you're wondering whether it would be coming to the Nougat or Oreo devices too cause Xiaomi has an intent to just copy all the features from the higher API levels to the lower one. For example Xiaomi even has multi-window on Android Marshmallow which just basically works exactly same to Android Oreo like there is no features removed at all. It just scales and does everything perfectly. So the answer is yes it will be coming to Android Oreo. There is no confirmation about the Nougat cause no kind of Nougat device Redmi or MI currently has the latest global beta or the China beta so we can't actually confirm that but some of those have audio betas yes it would be coming to your device cause it is not made with digital well-being this is a complete separate implementation from Xiaomi just like the multi-window that I talked you guys about so the plan over here is Redmi 6, Redmi 6A and the Redmi Y2 won't be getting Android Pie. So essentially this feature would be also available on that devices and it's pretty sad that even I have a Redmi 6A, I bought it from my grandmother and one of the shittiest Xiaomi devices ever bought by me. Like if I knew how shit this phone is, I would rather bought like a Redmi 5 and called it a day but Redmi 6A, Redmi 6 or Redmi Y2 won't be getting Android Pie anytime soon or never. So these features actually will fill up for Dash devices too and yeah guys that's pretty much it if you want to test it on your Redmi Note 5 Pro, links in the description for this build and see you guys in the next one. Peace.